experiment, we're going to test the effect of temperature on catalase in liver. Catalase is an enzyme that is found in living tissues. So what we're going to use, we have a boiling water bath right here and we ensure that we take the temperature of that liquid. We have top water, so we also have the temperature of that. And we have a ice bath, and we also have the temperature of that one, all right? Alternative methods. We can look at the effects of temperature, which we are gonna do today. We can modify the experiment to look at the effects of pH levels. Next step you want to do is to pour hydrogen peroxide into three different measuring cylinders at 3 ml. And you're going to pour it into each test tube. Next thing you want to do is to measure the diameter of your test tube, of each test tube. Once you measure the diameter, you can find the radius because you will need the radius to do some calculations. So the liver is already cut in equal portions. Each of this liver will be placed into different temperatures of water. So one will place into the ice water bath and we'll do this and allow them to sit into the different temperatures for approximately three minutes. So pour this into the boiling water and again ensure that you take a note of the temperature as well. Next thing you want to do is to take your liver samples from each of the different liquids. Now one, once you have all the liver now ready, what you can do next is to put them into each of the test tube with the hydrogen peroxide and then you're going to wait for about 30 seconds and measure the height of foam for each so after 30 seconds you check a timer and you can measure the height of foam for each So for 30 seconds, this was the one in the ice water bath. So measure the height of foam, starting from the top of the liquid portion to where the foam is. And you want to record that height of foam. You do the same one for the one that was in the top water. And you record that height of foam after 30 seconds as well. And then the one that was placed in the boiling water, and you measure that of foam. But in this case, there is no foam. So there is nothing to be measured. Alright, once you do that, you can now analyze your results and compare the height of foam form. And in fact, you can find the volume of foam that was formed. Alright, so you see the results in a short while. So check it out. Now some considerations for accuracy include one, the use of the same size liver. You can also measure it by mass if you choose. Use liver from the same animal. Also use the same volume of hydrogen peroxide. Use the same hydrogen peroxide the reason for this is because some may have different concentration or different percentage. 
So you want to maintain the concentration or percentage of the hydrogen peroxide. You also want to expose the liver for the same amount of time under each condition. For your results, you can take the radius of a test tube and also the height of foam form and then you can use that information to calculate the volume of foam formed under each temperature. And in this experiment we use, uh, based on the readings, was 9 degrees Celsius. We also had a reading of 30 degrees Celsius and a reading of 100 degrees Celsius. The formula to calculate volume will be volume equal to pi r square h. And so an example for calculation here is that our pi, which is 3.14, multiplied by 1 square, which is the radius half of the diameter of the test tube, multiplied by 3, which is the height of the foam, which gives us 9.42 centimeters cube. Once you work out all your calculations, you can now do your graph by showing the volume of foam form under each temperature. Now some questions for discussion. We can look at what is the effect of temperature on enzymes. It is also good to discuss what is the estimated optimal temperature for catalase. We can also discuss what caused the bubbles to be formed and also what accounts for no bubbles forming at higher temperatures. At this time, I want to tell you that I truly appreciate you watching these lessons and experiments and I want to encourage you to nurture your strength.